Today I am going to announce the giveaway winner and I have quite a lot of entries and here on the screen I am going to cover all of the information that you sent me, just the names and here I have so many, so many wonderful subscribers and this is very exciting. So I have you all listed. I'm going to start from number three all the way to 72. So my minimum is three, then my maximum is 72. Oops, 72. And then we're going to generate the random number. And then this is going to be the winner of the Dior Addict set that I have been really loving and we're going to be twinning with that beautiful pouch. So let's generate. 32. So who's 32? 32 is Tushy Zaif. Is that how you pronounce it? Like, let me know in the comments below because I'm terrible at pronouncing names. But Tushy, congratulations. You have won the beautiful Dior Addicts lipstick set and I am super happy for you. And thank you everybody for entering. And it's very, very lovely to talk to you all in the comments. Seeing all your comments just literally lights up all my days. And I'm very happy to have met you all through this community. There will be more giveaways in the future. I will be having a birthday giveaway because I will be in Asia, so there will be some Asian goodies there. Um, I probably will pick up some like Korean beauty or Japanese or whatever like local sweets there are and I will get back to you soon. So congratulations Tushi and I will now get into the Glam Touch haul that I have purchased some beautiful Korean beauty products and here we go. I bought a few things from Glam Touch and I am ready to show you what I got because I had to restock a few beauty items even though I did buy quite a few things but I just had to stop by. I got quite a lot of skincare items this time and they had a lot of deals here and a lot of new products in Glam Touch that I always love to try. Their shop is in Soho and it's such a cute shop and I hear that they are opening a new place soon so Stay tuned for that. First one I'm going to show you is this one and this is the Dear Claire's Fundamental Basic but Ultimate Kit. And this includes the full size Fundamental Ampule Mist and also a miniature size of the Rich Moist Soothing Cream which you have seen me use in the past and I absolutely love this one. And this was part of the 3 for 2 so I had to get this. And facial mist is something that I really like to use. I did use one by Dalbert and that one's more of that glowy, more moisturizing effect. This one is definitely more for that hydrating effect. And I love how the packaging is so minimal and it's just so pretty to use. And of course, I've shown you this one before. And this one is the miniature size, 20 milliliters of the Rich Moist Soothing Cream. So this one, I know I'm gonna take it on holiday with me because it is my go-to. I know I haven't used it in a while, but I know it feels amazing. Amazing. Then I got some Bano Bagi items and their skincare is always amazing because Bano Bagi is known for their cosmetic surgery and their aftercare they always use their own products because they have the best innovation, the best scientific research that I can see online and especially when it comes to new ingredients and sourcing the best in the world. Bano Bagi is at the cutting edge of science. So with their previous rejuvenating line I absolutely loved it because they used an ingredient called PDRN which is DNA extracted from the fish virgin and this one is the Alpha Arbutin one and they call it the Alpha Radiance line. So if you buy two you get some discount off and I bought two of them. So I have the serum and also a tone-up cream. So I want to lighten up a few of my acne scars. I do have a few left, although most of it is gone over time. I know I had really aggressive acne last year, but a lot of that's passed. And if you open up this one, it comes in this white bottle and it's very minimal. And this one is a 30 ml serum. This one, it says that it brightens the skin. It does inhibit tyranase activity and it inhibits melanin synthesis. So if you're someone who really goes into the sun a lot, you should be very cautious. Make sure you apply sunscreen because this could actually make your skin sensitive to the sun. I'm excited to try this. It's got more of the dropper type of application. Make sure you don't touch this dropper. It's more of a gel, so it doesn't really run easily, but it sinks into the skin super nice and it doesn't feel anything. So it's very weightless. Then on to the tone-up cream. So tone-up creams, I've been a little bit hit and miss with it, but since I swatched it in store and I 
fell in love with it so quickly. This tone up cream isn't as crazy white as so many that are out there in the market. I've tried the one from Laneige and that one, my goodness, it is so white. I actually didn't enjoy using it and I ended up not finishing it because there is no way that I can have such a white cast, too bright for me. But this one, when I applied it onto my skin, it does give that tone up glow. So it has a lot of reflective particles in here and it's got this creamy texture. But at the same time, when you do apply it, you can see that it is a glow, but it's not that same pasty white color that you get in a lot of tone up cream with Laneige and then Innisfree. So this one, it's a very moisturizing one and it's very, very lightweight. Then I picked up another item which I have always loved and I want to repurchase. This one is the Barnabagi Milk Thistle Repair Sunscreen. And this is just a very nice creamy sunscreen and it's very soothing for the skin. So this one, it's in 50 milliliters and I just love how this makes my skin feel. It's so soothing, it's very soft, it's very creamy. And this is just another backup for all of my other sunscreens because you cannot have enough sunscreens and this is a very, very good one. If you have sensitive skin, this is one to go for. And especially if you live in a very dry, itchy climate, this one definitely will work wonders. Another one that is good is the Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Sunscreen. And I think another favorite is the Dalba Waterfall one. And then I got another Mixine product and I have tried a lot of their products before. I I went to the Mixoon event with Glam Touch and I was able to experience the whole story behind it, the ethos, and I fell in love with the Centella Essence and also fell super in love with the Master Serum. And the most famous product from their line is actually the Bean Essence and I never got to try that fully except for the slight trial at the event. So I picked one of this as a part of the 3 for 2. This one is in 50ml. It comes in super minimalist packaging and I love how this looks. It matches all of the aesthetic. And also, when you apply this onto the skin, you can use it as a serum, very essencey, it's very hydrating. But I see a lot of people online, and I was also taught at the event that you can apply more of this, and it can actually turn into this slight exfoliation because all of these little grains start to come up and then it starts exfoliating the face. But as someone who wants to use this as a hydrating essence, this one works wonders. So I'm super excited to try this on my skin a lot and I will let you know. Then I bought a face powder because some of my foundations, they can be a little bit too glowy and I just want something to set it. And I know a lot of setting powders can be huge, especially the one from Laura Mercier, the one from Charlotte Tilbury and also the Chanel one is a huge bottle, but this, look at how cute this is. This is a very, very small bottle. And this one is from Innisfree and it's called the No Sebum mineral powder and this one I thought it was really good because once you open it it comes with a little puff but it's actually a very translucent powder when you apply this on it's just very velvety and it's so smooth when you touch it and it's just so beautiful it mats away anything that is too glowy and I think I've used this before but many many years ago so I'm not sure whether they reformulated it but I remember really loving it back then and this was only eight pounds so bargain in for what you get and it's very easy to transport. And I got a few free samples. This is the Bano Bargi Milk Thistle line. And I have two face masks from Lemuse. And this is a new line that just came out in Glam Hood. So they have the repair mask and also a more moisturizing mask. And because La Muse is new, I got two of their products. One of them is gifted because Sen, the lovely Sen, is really wanting me to try the cushion, which I heard was a dupe for the Laneige BB cushion. And I have my version, which is the Laneige BB cushion right here. So this is actually my favorite favorite BB cushion. I've used it in all my videos. I've used it in this makeup tutorial and I absolutely love this because it's got that satiny finish and to say that it is a dupe for it, it had me sold because I just have to try. It's called the Silk Fit BB cover cushion and apparently the only difference between this and the Laneige one is that it's got high SPF at SPF 50 whereas I think the other one is about 42. That one has blue light filter whereas this one has more environmental protection. They do have two formulations of it just like the Laneige one where they have the pink one which is more glowy and then I got the blue one which is more of that satin finish. Comes with a refill and the main case itself, it's so gorgeous. It's 
this kind of like leather looking case at the front and it's quite a lot wider than the Laneige BB cushion. The gold embossing on the front is just very very detailed and it just matches the champagne gold at the edge. So if you open it up it has the mirror there and I think it's got a little cover at the front and it's got the Lemuse logo at the front. This one I got in color 23 because I'm a little bit darker in terms of the Asian skin tone. I'm not that pale white at all. So this one matches me perfectly and I think this is a little bit more cool tone compared to my Laneige 23N. I think it's not as cool as the 23C from Laneige but I think there's a little bit of a hybrid. The Laneige one has more of that dewy glow even though it's the matte version. This one has a more even satin finish and if one goes out of stock then I know there is an alternative that I can go try. And then sticking on the same brand Lemuse, I got their Cell Bio Refined Foaming Cleanser and it's got prebiotics in there. So this one is a cleanser and it comes as a foaming cleanser because it comes out as a luxurious beautiful foam. And when we open it we have this gorgeous packaging. It's mostly white and gold it's just a nice greasy pump at the top which releases a lot of beautiful foam. The foam is very dense and very bouncy and the sales associate just like massaged it into the makeup that we applied onto her hand just to test some swatches and then it just literally diffused everything out. It melted it all away as a face cleanser. So I know that this will be very good at cleansing the face. I'll still double cleanse. I won't just go ahead with one cleanser, but this one is just very luxurious and it's very affordable too. So that is everything that I got from Glam Touch and I'll let you know how these products go probably in either my Instagram or maybe my vlog or if you really really want me to do it then I can do a products empty or a product review if you request it in the comments below and if you want to check out more of my beauty videos then check these videos over here and I will see you there. Bye!